Welcome to Quantum Revenue Expansion, where we share time-tested strategies to turn your annual revenue into your monthly revenue. Ready to up-level your business and your life? Then you will love listening in on the lively conversations Ursula has with her clients and guests as they share exactly what they did to grow and scale their business exponentially. Plus, you will discover how to experience more freedom, joy, and peace in your business and your life right now. If turning your annual income into your monthly income is your next step, then join us at the next 2X Intensive. Go to UrsulaInc.co slash apply. Hey, everybody, and welcome back to Quantum Revenue Expansion, the podcast where we talk about turning your annual revenue into your monthly revenue. Super excited to have you here with me today. It's the end of the year. Oh, my gosh. What happened to this year? I don't I don't I absolutely don't know. (laughs) I'm your host, Ursula Minches. I'm super excited to be doing a solo show. You just get me uh, because there's a lot of things I want to talk about before this year is over. So we're going to talk about the five steps to reverse engineer your best year yet. And I'm excited about this show because there's a lot of pieces that are missed, especially at the end of the year. And I find that as business owners, like, especially if you're tired, if you've had like a long year and 2023 has been, it's been a long, fast year. It's like, it went kind of slow in the beginning and then it just like went really fast. And so whether, you know, your year has gone really fast or whether you feel like it's been dragging a little bit and then taking off again, the end of the year can be that time where you're, I see business owners kind of slack off and you feel like, you know, I'm just going to sail. I'm going to coast at the end of the year. And I just want to encourage you, like at the end you know, the end, end of this year, take some time, take some time to make sure you set yourself up for your best year yet. Like one of the things that we have our clients do is fill out their, um, their quantum revenue model. And that's the container that sets them up to have a phenomenal next year. Other people call this projections. It's really projecting out the next 12 months, right? But we want to show a growth trajectory, and so we'll talk about we'll talk about that today. We'll dig into all this stuff. So make sure you grab a pen, piece of paper, your favorite beverage, and you know, let's let's have some fun as we plan for the next year. Before we do that, if you haven't taken the time to grab the masterclass yet, we have Quantum Revenue Expansion, the masterclass, which pairs really nicely with the podcast. So definitely grab that. You can go to UrsulaInc.co forward slash. Actually, no forward slash on that. No forward slash, just just right there on the homepage, you can find it. So um, definitely grab that for you. And that that course, that masterclass is going to dig even deeper into what we're going to talk about today. So if what we talk about today really resonates with you, the masterclass even goes deeper into, you know, how to price yourself right, how to really up-level your marketing, how to build that monthly revenue container, and then also how to collapse time and reach your goals even faster. So if you haven't, definitely grab that. And for some of you, like you're like, I've been wanting to hang out at the 2X Intensive forever. I've had people email that to me this year. Like I've been wanting to do this forever. They're finally doing it. So if that's you, go to UrsulaInc.co forward slash apply, send us a little bit of your information and we will um, we'll get you all the details. And because you listen to the show, you get an extra special price and package. So just know that. Okay, so let's dive in to five steps to reverse engineer your best year ever. The first step, and I just alluded to this, is to create a clear revenue container. And the I see people challenged with numbers. You know, when I first meet an entrepreneur, business owner, often they're like, you know, I... I think I want a million dollar business, or I just wish I could break through my first six figures, or wouldn't it be great if I hit a half a million dollars this year, right? It's kind of like, kind of like all over the place, but it's like, it's, it's a wish. It's a, wouldn't it be nice if, and this is where you have to land the plane and say, no, this year is my seven figure breakthrough year, or this year is the half a million dollar year, or this year is 250,000, or this year is our first six figures. And I say it like that because that's typically where people show up. They're either like first six figures, or they're in like low six figures and want to hit 250, or they've hit 250, now they want to double to 500, they've hit 500, now they're like, I'm ready for a million. So kind of feel your way through that. Like, where are you right now? And maybe 
maybe you're like super rock star territory already and you've already hit your first seven figures and you're like going for, you know, your next or you're going for eight figures. Awesome. We want to make sure that not only do you know what that number is, but you have a crystal clear path on how to get there. And again, this this is where... This is where most people, when they go to fill out a revenue model, they aren't really sure how to do it, okay? And so high level, right? A revenue model is going to have at the top your sales, like each month, like how much I'm going to sell. And then the cost of sales in the middle, like how much is it going to cost to sell the things I'm going to sell? Underneath that, my monthly expenses, which are pretty you know, static throughout the year. And then the very bottom is my net profit. So after I pay for how much it's going to cost me to deliver this and I pay for my monthly expenses, this is how much I have left at the bottom. Okay. And hopefully it's more than that. Hopefully if you can see me on the video. I had my fingers go really small. Hopefully it's way more than that, right? We want, we want to have a high net profit or at least a decent net profit, depending on what kind of corporation you have set up and what kind of taxes you want to pay or don't want to pay or how much money you have to spend at the end of the year. But planning out the next 12 months is crucial. From there, planning out the next 12 months so that it shows your revenue growing is also really important. And while that like that seems like an obvious thing, I've seen revenue models. I've seen projections where they're just flat throughout the year. And in fact, we worked with a client one time and we didn't we didn't catch this right away. So there I understand where like a few months might be the same, right? You might be flat, you know, in a couple of months, but over time, you know, you want your revenue to grow, hopefully, right? That's, that's what we all want. And what I noticed with this client is she, um, she was in the CEO table and she came to us and she said, look, I've hit 20,000 for like the last three months. Like I'm just so stuck at 20,000. And of course, like with a little digging, it could be a lot of things, right? Like, like in, you know, maybe that's her income ceiling. That's what she's comfortable making. Um, maybe there's something that needs to be changed with the marketing. Maybe like sometimes we only make room for a certain amount of clients and that's all that can fit. Right. But then I was like, ding, 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 ding. It hit me. And I said, get your revenue model out. So she got it out. And sure enough, she was hitting exactly what was in the revenue model and the revenue model stayed flat for a few months. And so she was just meeting that. I can't explain this, but what I can tell you is your subconscious mind takes on the revenue modeling, right? The revenue model, like you remember in your brain, and it allows you to expand to that level. Does it happen like that every single time? No, but clients who've worked with us for a while, what I notice is they start to hit the numbers that are on their revenue model pretty consistently, which then we got to make sure the revenue model is big enough, right? Like it's expanded enough. And when we're at the CEO table at our monthly meetings, we're often saying to our clients like, ooh, I know you built a $250,000 revenue model, but you're ready for 300. Or you built 300, but you're already tracking for a half a million this year. Like you got to get that updated. I talked to another client recently, like he's looking at his, you know, seven figure plus year next year. And I said, Ooh, like what would happen if you built a $2 million revenue model and created that kind of space? What would happen? And he was like, I'm so ready for that. <laughs> but if I hadn't asked the question, if we hadn't been playing with the revenue model, like that might not have occurred to him. And that's where I see, you know, revenue models getting stagnant over the years is that it's like the same over and over and over again. All right. So that's the first step is create a very clear projection or revenue model. And listen, like if this is something you're like, I'm stuck. I don't know what to, like, I've grown to seven, six figures. I've never built a revenue model. I feel like I've gotten here by the seat of my pants. Like, I don't know what to do. Go to UrsulaInc.co forward slash apply. Send us your information about the 2X intensive and we'll have someone on our team call you and you can meet with them. You can have a conversation with Rebecca Hall. She's our master coach. And she'll tell you like, here's what needs to shift or here's what needs to happen. And here's whether or not we think we can help you. So take like, stop really stop doing it all yourself. Stop figuring it out all yourself. Stop feeling stuck. One of my favorite books, and I read a lot of them. One of my favorite books that came out in 2020, right in the middle of the pandemic was Who Not How by Dan Sullivan and his business partner friend who I don't even remember. I just know who Dan Sullivan is. He's uh, an awesome coach. And that book 
That book is just it, like, you don't even have to read the whole book, although I recommend it, but just, he says, who, not how, who is your, who that you need to ask for help from not how do I keep doing this? Cause how is where I keep getting stuck? Who, not how. Second step to reverse engineer your best year ever. And you've probably heard this before, but I'm going to say it again. And this is something that I say to myself and we say it to our clients because I can tell when we're getting shaky for myself or when others are getting shaky. You have to make the decision. You have to decide that you are all in. You have to decide that no matter what, once I've set my revenue model, like this is happening because what that says is that you're willing to do the things that most people aren't willing to do. You're willing to take the next step when most people want to quit. You're willing to make one more phone call, send one more email, do one more advertising thing, call one more person, like whatever it is, you're willing to do it when you make the decision to get all in. The root of the word decide means to close the door on everything else. And for some of you, you might have your foot in one world and like in another world. And that that foot thing, it's going to mess you up, right? When you make the decision that you're all in, like it's both, it's your whole body. It's not even your feet, right? Like you're all in no matter what. And so even in this moment, like think about it. Are you really all in? And if you're not, it's okay. If you're not, like, I would look at why not? Like, where are you getting stuck? What's happening? But I I invite you, I invite you to really think about this. Like, am I truly all in? Is this, is this what I want? Am I willing to do what it takes to grow a business? Because not everybody is. Not everybody is. <laughs> My husband, <coughs> excuse me. Oh, let me have a little drink here. Mm. my husband would say he's not, (laughs) he doesn't want to do all the things. Right. And so it's a lot, it gets easier. It definitely gets easier. Once you start to build a team and you're delegating and you've got support, it gets easier. I mean, our client, Melissa, who I just recently interviewed here on the podcast, go back and listen to Melissa Swink's interview. She talks about how to, you know, reduce your workload by 25%. And she does it all day long. She only works 25 hours a week. And we watched her grow her business, you know, from very, a very small team. She has 21 people on her team now, but she's never compromised on how many hours she works. And I really admire that about her. And by the way, she's a phenomenal business owner. She's a phenomenal um, virtual assistant leader. She has a team of virtual assistants and she's phenomenal at what she does, but she also, she lives what she speaks. And I don't see that all the time, right? Like that's a big deal to me, that authentic, that alignment, right? That authentic piece. She lives everything that she teaches her clients. And then she's fine tuning it all the time. So her clients get the benefit of that. So I'm just sharing that. Like she, like she is all in on you know, not doing all the things on leading her business, on having the who around her, on having a phenomenal team around her. And she's made that decision and she continues to make that decision, you know, so she can be with her family and do the things she wants to do. So that's what I'm talking about. It's not about like decide to get all in because now you're going to work all the time. No, decide to get all in because you want to grow this amazing business and not just have a job that you hate because some of you have jobs that you hate right? Am I right? (laughs) I want you to have a business that you love. That's what I want for you. That's what Rebecca wants for you. That's what we all want for you. Recently, we found out that this podcast, Quantum Revenue Expansion, is has a global ranking. I didn't even know that. It's like in the top two and a half percent of podcasts, which means people are downloading it And people are listening. Like, it's one thing to have a lot of downloads. It's another thing to have people actually listen to the show and like come back and listen again. We have a re-listen rate, I guess, where people come back a couple of times because they got something out of it or they got a lot out of it, right? So I'm sharing that with you because I get it. When I say the word decide, I I have to decide to stay all in all the time as well. Like, it isn't just a decision you make one time. It's kind of like being married, right? Like I've been with my husband almost 30 years. You can say that. Not married that long, but we've been together a long time. And 
I truly believe that we decide to stay together. You decide to stay together. You decide to make it work. You decide, you decide to get better so that you're better for your spouse, right? <laughs> like hopefully, but everything like that, or you get help. I'm a trained marriage and family therapist, by the way, which makes me even sketchier. It's harder to be married, right? Cause you judge everything you judge yourself. So I had to like put all that training aside and just be like a, a wife <laughs> as a couple, right. And figure out what that meant uh, and navigate my own way, getting a lot of that thinking out, but we do my husband and I, we make the decision, right? So that's my invitation to you is like, am I all in or what needs to shift so I can be all in? The third step to reverse engineer your best year ever is to answer this question. And this was a question one of my coaches, Elizabeth. Elizabeth, shout out my coach, Elizabeth. She taught me this question. I've, I've heard it other places in different ways. I, I love when she says it. The question is this, what needs to be true to reach or exceed your goal for 2024, for this next year? depending on when you're listening to this, right? For the next 12 months, what needs to be true to reach or exceed this goal? This is worth spending some time on because there is there is a high level of gold in your answer here. What this question does is truly help you reverse engineer what has to happen to make it happen. And one of the ways to do this, and, and this is something I do with the clients at the 2X Intensive, we do it with our CEO table clients, is to step into the end of the year. So step into the end of, for example, 2024. Let's imagine that it's December 31st, 2024. And you're having the most, you just had the most rocking year you ever had. And you exceeded your goal, right? So you're standing at the end of 2024 looking back. Okay, so you got to do a little bit of time travel, a little bit of future pacing, which I love to do with our clients all the time. And you're looking back and you just ask yourself like what, when, I, and you can ask it like from the future to say what needed to, what needed to be true for all of us, all of this to happen for us to reach or exceed this goal. And I recommend this as a writing exercise, just like free flow, what's coming through, you know, what's come, what am I, you know, what, what needs to be true? So for example, for example, right? Like if you do events, what needed to be true was I needed X amount of people at each event. Or we needed to have a 50% close ratio at every event. Or um, we needed to have 200 people come through our you know programs this year. Or we needed to have we needed to have 200 people book a call with us. Whatever it is, like what you're looking for are the metrics so that you can measure the what needs to be true. And that one question breaks your year wide open. Like you get to reverse engineer it however you want. And, and all of a sudden you get to see all the ways that this can happen. I love doing that exercise because it's such a simple way to see exactly what needs to happen to make it happen. And again, this is time tested. We do this with our clients all the time. I do it myself all the time. You reverse engineer, you work backwards to get there. So definitely take some time with that exercise. The fourth step to reverse engineer your best year ever is to get a coach. You're like, okay, Ursula, great sales pitch. Thanks, I'm out. No, hang on. Here's the thing. I'm not saying I'm your coach. I'm not saying Rebecca's your coach. In fact, Rebecca says that. She'll be like, I don't know that I'm your coach. I don't know. I don't know that either. That's why we have, um, that's why we have certain events so we can meet people and get to know them. And you can see if you like us and we can see how we fit with you and we can see if you're coachable and if you're really ready, right? We're not ever like we, we have a certain kind of business and we work with about 50 clients at a time in our bigger program who get a lot of private attention from us. So to work with more clients than that would be really tough. And I share that with you because again, we're not everybody's coach. We can't, we can't work with every business owner. We can work with a very small percentage of business owners. Now we do work with new business owners though. So if you feel the call and you like the energy and you feel like it's a fit, definitely apply. We'd love to chat with you about that. If it's not us, that's fine. Find a business coach. Find a business coach that's in alignment with your values. And usually a good rule of thumb is to find someone that is 
is where you want to be or has built a business before, right? If it's a business coach, they've built a successful business. You're aligned with their values. You like what they teach, right? You have a good feeling, like it just feels in alignment. I mean, there's other ways that you can qualify whether or not they're a coach, but you'll know, you'll know. I mean, testimonials, talking to other people, asking for referrals. That's where a lot of our clients come from is through our client referrals because our clients are getting great results. And someone's like, hey, what what are you doing to grow your business? And they might say, well, I've got this business coach where I work with these business coaches, Ursula and Rebecca, and then they refer us, right? So ask for a referral, whatever, whatever, get a coach. I have two to five coaches that I work with at a time. I know that sounds like a lot. They're not all for business. Some are other areas of my life, but I believe in coaching. I believe in coaching because coaching to me is a hack. Here's where I am. Here's where I want to go. Who in the middle, right? For those of you who are just listening to this, I'm saying I'm holding in my left hand. Here's where I am. My right hand to the right of me, like there's distance in between there. Here's where I want to go. What's the gap in the middle and how do I get there? And a coach fills that gap right? Helps me make that quantum leap. So find a coach and know this statistically, and I love this, you are 95% more likely to reach your goals by having a coach. Now for people in the sports industry, not a big surprise, like they have, you know, professional sports players have multiple coaches that they work with, right? To perfect all the things. And then we get into business. We're like, oh, I'm just going to figure it out myself over here. Even though everyone, you know, all these millions of people have done it before me, I'm just going to sit here and figure it out myself. No, get a coach. You're 95% more likely to achieve your goals this next year. So get a coach. Finally, step number five. This might sound like an obvious step, but to me, it's what sets successful people apart who stay in business a long time and continue to grow their business. And the step is this, keep going no matter what, keep going no matter what. Because I guarantee you, there are days you're going to want to quit. I guarantee you that you're going to hit walls that you're not sure what to, how you should deal with them. By the way, I have a coach, so you can just call your coach. That's what I do. I'm like, I'm just going to call my coach because <laughs> they don't give me the answers always, but they'll help me figure it out, right? Or I call a consultant. I call an expert. You're going to hit walls. Being in business is one of the biggest personal development courses you'll ever go through. It's going to challenge everything you know about yourself. And it's also the most transformational because it's going to give you an incredible opportunity to grow as long as you don't stop. And that's my wish for you this next year is that not only that you have the best year you could ever imagine, but that you keep going no matter what, that you become unstoppable no matter what, that You believe in yourself at the deepest level and you know that what is in your heart, that which you desire wants you to, and that the way to get there already exists around you. When you do this, when you take the five steps and you might have to do it a couple of times, you might have to listen to this a couple of times. When you take the five steps to reverse engineer your best year yet, and you do the work that's here, the next steps will show up. The next steps that you need to take will show up. And sometimes that's investing in a coach. Sometimes that's investing in a new software. Sometimes that's hiring, right? The next steps will always show up. The question is, will you take that next step? And my hope and my prayer for you is that you do take that next step no matter what. All right, everybody. Thanks for hanging out. It's been awesome. Love you guys. If there's anything we can do for you, if you have a question or a specific topic you'd like me to talk about, you can email us at contact at ursulainc.co. That's it for now, everybody. Make this your best year yet. Thank you for joining us today. And if you are ready to make your next quantum leap, let's do it. Ursula invites you to join us at the 2X Intensive. Go to salescoachnow.com slash apply. Don't forget to leave us a review on your favorite podcast app.